everybody, my name is the IT guy, and today we'll be looking at how to hibernate in Pop OS. So by default, Pop OS does have, uh, if we go into settings, we're going to power, so we can choose to suspend it by um, when we press the power button, you can tell uh, Pop OS to go into suspend mode or to power off. So it does have suspend mode enabled, but this is just the hardware button, and as you can see, there is um, there is no sleep but well there is actually by default but I disabled it uh, but that's what we're going to talk about in this video so so to start things off we will need the following so we are going to install the gnome shell extensions and then we're going to install the hibernate status button so um, let me quickly show you how this is done. So over here, you'll need to install the browser extension. You just continue to install. And from there on forward, we can uh, you get this window over here if you install it. Um, if you go onto the URL that I provided here, I'll link it in the description below. You can also enable this uh, extension. And we're going to do this like that. And uh, right now, when we go into uh, the start button over here, uh, if we press the, press the Alt key, uh, then you'll see that there is this little pause button that appears. So this is what this uh, status button does. So this is going to give you the ability to um, enable and disable that. So also, if you have the sleep button over here and you want to get rid of it, you want to have hibernate, you don't want the sleep button, and you or you want to be able to uh, administer these GNOME extensions easily, then you will need to install something called um, so GNOME Tweak. So what we're going to do is we're going to install it by entering the command sudo apt install gnome-tweaks. And once you install that, so this is already installed on my computer. So once you do that and you type it in, gnome tweaks. So here's tweaks, or rather set, let's enter just tweaks. If we go into GNOME Tweaks and we go into the Extensions option over here, the Extensions category, uh, we can enable and disable the Hibernate Status button as well. So if I'm enabling it here, then you'll see that it's uh, it's it's enabled. Uh, and if I want to enable the, let's see here, the Suspend button, if I enable this, then the suspend button will also appear. So my icon is a little bit different uh, because I use a different file manager and that's probably the reason why it changed. Um, but the suspend button is going to be normally a little moon sign over here and this is going to be the suspend button. So the difference between suspending and um, and hibernation is, this is actually just sleep mode. So sleep mode is actually that it saves your current session onto the RAM. Um, so therefore, the system is still using up a little bit of uh, of, uh, of power. Um, and if you enable the hibernate mode, then what's going to happen is that the system will save your session to the hard drive. So instead of saving it to the RAM, it's going to save it to the hard drive. And since the hard drive is not fly, is the the memory on the hard drive is not flighty, the the, the computer can actually just power down completely and that way you'll have your session still on the hard drive and there is no need for the system to say this sleep mode. So hibernation is actually just the same as shutting your computer down uh, and going into a deeper sleep mode instead of a um, instead of sort of a sleep mode. So it's a little bit of a deeper sleep than uh, than a normal sleep mode and it's going to save more um, power on the system as well. So another way to install the um, to be able to control the hibernation mode is by using the terminal. We can use the uh, the power management utilities. So to get those, you'll need p uh, sudo apt pm dash utils. Just enter the password over here. Oops, no, it's sudo apt install, of course. Silly me. Then right now, what we're going to do is we're going to sudo pm. And then uh, what's going to be shown is if we actually do, no, if we do sudo pm dash, and we press the tab key twice, we'll see that there are multiple options. So we have pm hibernate, 
PM power save, PM suspend hybrid, uh, PM suspend and PM is supported, things like that. So what we're going to use is we're going to do either suspend to go it, to put it into suspend mode, so in a lighter sleep mode, or PM hibernate to put it into a deeper sleep mode. So to test if the system actually goes into hibernation mode, I'm now going to stop the recording and my session is going to be saved to the disk and once I reboot the system, everything should be the same as before. So I'm going to, I'm going in hiber, I'm putting the computer in hibernation mode now. So as you can see, the system has rebooted and the session has been saved. Everything is still the same way as it was before I put the computer into hibernation mode so the hibernation mode does work. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.